Center Church family, we want to thank you so much for tuning in on this video. I'm excited to be able to come to you directly from the office to be able to share with you of what's taking place in these coming days. You know, I'm excited about these challenges that we have. Now, some people may be a little concerned and nervous. I get it. I get it. I'm not disregarding that. I, Hey, I have elderly in my family. I have children in my family. I'm concerned about their health and their well, their well-being. But they also understand and they cheer us on to be able to go out and continue to preach and declare the word of the Lord. So here's what we've done. We've already sent out the announcement and I'm sending the announcement directly to you by way of video. So we want you to be able to disseminate this information, this video to as many people as you'd like. Now, we understand that the local county has imposed certain items that restricts gathering together a certain amount of people. And, and we're not at all going to challenge that whatsoever. But here's what we are going to do. We're going to leave our church doors open for prayer and for worship for those who need it. If you need prayer and worship, we're here for you. Now, we have our seats set up with social spacing. We have hundreds of seats available for those that want to come in. And we encourage you to be able to follow the guidelines that are imposed on you. It's your choice. I'm not going to put any burden on you whatsoever. We don't want to burden you whatsoever for you to decide what is right or wrong. But we are, we do want you to know what we're doing here as a fellowship and as a church family. So we understand what the Word of God says. And we'll talk more about this on other broadcasts that you'll see every single day. But we get it. The Word of God says to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And so what we've done is we're being proactive. And we're going to open up the church doors for every single person to be able to be part. If you need uh, hands laid upon you, if you need somebody to minister to you, we're going to be here for you. And what we're doing is we're going to offer up some church hours. We're going to let you know when the church doors are open, but it's going to be every day that they'll be open. We're, we're starting with our first uh, hours and days as our regular church service times. For instance, Wednesday night, seven o'clock, church doors are open. Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, church door is open. And we're going to make some adjustments to the time and the length of the services. For instance, we're looking to see if we can reduce the length of our service to 55 minutes versus two hours. I know that's a big jump, but here's what we'll be able to do. We'll be able to hit great worship, be able to give you opportunity to receive some word and be able to receive an anointing upon your life if you need it. We're going to have a pastor here prepared, someone ready to minister to you, someone that's willing to walk with you. I'm going to be here for you. And our ministry staff is going to be here for you. There's plenty of volunteers that will be available. And if you want to be a volunteer, you can be available too. But here's what we've done in order for confidence, for everyone to feel comfortable. Here's what we've done. We've sanitized the entire sanctuary, the entire office, the entire hallway. We've reduced the amount of restrooms that are available. We've made the north section restrooms on the entry lobby available. And we've sanitized and have it prepared. After every time we open and close the doors, we're going to sanitize the seats, the carpet, every touchable item, and of course, the restrooms. We've placed sanitizer uh, dispensers at every entrance. When you come in, we have sanitizers for you. We've even gathered together food to give it and make it available for families that do not have food. This is what we're here for. Here's my stance. Here's our stance. The government does what they do best. The military does what they do best. There's no stand down order for them. The police, they do what they do best. All of the city officials, they do what they do best. We need to do what we do best. We're here to minister to you. We're here to minister to people. We're not going to offend God as ministers and leaders of the ministry. And we're going to make ourselves available in a grander scale for you to be able to minister to you. So here's what we've done. Not only have we prepared the facility, sanitized it, prepared it to be able to, to minister to you on a grander scale. Not only are we opening up the doors every single day, make it available for those who need prayer, want to participate in prayer and worship, but we've also put together, and you've seen these before, vials of oil in our church. I have a my vial of oil with me at all times that I may be able to pray for those who are sick and those that need a healing. And we want you to come alongside together with the ministry and for you to have a vial of oil with you so you can help us pray and lay hands on the sick. That's right. We're giving this to you. This is our gift to you. 
We want to show it into your life. We want to give you an opportunity to be able to help us pray for those that are in need. Now, if you'd like to give a donation that we can continue to build more of these vials, we're going to make that available to you too by way of giving online on the website. And if you ever come to, when you come to the service or when you come to the sanctuary for prayer and worship, we're giving you an opportunity to where you can give your tithes and your offerings for the ministry. And if you'd like to support that we may be able to continue to put these vials together and put them in the hands of as many people as we can, we want to ask you to help support this work. And what we're going to do is we've committed ourselves. We've ordered oil. We've ordered more, bo more bottles that we can fill up. So we need volunteers to help us fill up the bottles. And we're going to distribute them to everybody that we, that we can. Can you imagine having what I call oil slingers, anointed oil slingers, all over the Rio Grande Valley here in the RGV, being able to give these vials away to everybody and have you prepared to pray for somebody, to put the oil in your hands. Very simple. A little dab will do you. You take that, anoint your hands, and lay hands on those people who may need healing or those that are fearful, those that have concern, whatever their, may, whatever their situation may be. We're not selling the oil. No, put that away. We're making it available to you for free. And we do have supporters that are supporting. We've already received offerings so that way we can continue to provide more and more oil for people. Nonstop. We will not quit. We're going to continue to do this because that is our mission and that is our mandate. We believe that we can place a vial of oil in the hands of everybody, of everybody that asks. We don't want to ever run out. And we've prayed for the oil. We're just not doing this. We, we put them together. We brought them before the elders. The elders laid hands on the oil and we believed God and we prayed an anointing inside this oil. And then we asked the entire congregation to lift their hands out and to pray. And we're going to continue to do this, that, we can that you can receive a vial of anointed oil that you may be able to pray for those that are in need. So for more information, here's how to communicate with us. Very simple. You go to our website. Our website's made available on any web on any cell phone, you go to centerchurchfar.com. When you go to the website, it's going to ask you for an email address. Let me have your email address that we may be able to communicate by way of email. We're sending emails out every single day, up to the minute emails to let you know what's happening with the church family. And we want to be able to be connected like never before. And we don't finish there. On the website, we're also going to provide our live broadcast every day make available that you can receive that every single day. You can communicate with us directly through social media, our Facebook page, any other social media that we have. We have a YouTube page. You can find us on our website, centerchurchfar.com. Or if you want to give us a call, when you go on our website, we've created our website, just one click, and you'll be able to call us directly. You want to know what our phone number is? Go to centerchurchfar.com. Go to the phone number, click it on your phone, and it will dial the office right away. You need somebody to go lay hands on you? We're going to have a network of believers that are sanctified and anointed. And they're also going to be sanitized to make sure that when they pray for you, they're clean and they're ready to go. And they're ready to pray for you. Never before have I ever participated in anything like this. I've never seen anything like this before. What a great time for us to be able to do it together. I'm looking forward that you and I be able to connect together. So be with us when the church doors are open. Pray and worship every single day. For more information, we're going to disseminate this information through email and through our social media and our website. And for how to get a vial of oil, come on over to the church and let us put one in your hand. We want to pray with you and want to, we want to believe God on your behalf. For those of you that are our extended families that may not be living in the area, if you'd love for us to send you a vial of oil, we're going to make that available also. But give us some time. Probably in the next couple of days, we'll have it set up to where we can package it and put it inside a nice package, bubbled wrap, so we can send it over to you so that we want to make sure that nothing, none of them break. This is our gift to you. If you want to support, let's say you want to be able to support it, and you want to sponsor some vials that we can give them out, I want to ask you to go to centerchurchfar.com, go to the donation tab, and make a donation to the ministry, because we're going to keep doing this, and we're going to put it in there. There's no price on this oil, zero. This is our gift to you. And if you would like to be a giver to help us support and help us give, make sure to make it a, a best donation that you can so that way we can work together. Amen? I want to pray with you right now. Would you? Go ahead. Let's pray. 
Our most gracious Heavenly Father, I lift up right now every person within the sound of my voice. And I ask you to heal them, to protect them. We cover them with your precious blood. We anoint them with your oil. And we believe that you will take care of them wherever they may be. Father, we rebuke this virus right now in Jesus' name. We rebuke it off of the entire world. That it, those numbers of an infected and death shall go down. I declare them to go down in Jesus' name. And that this virus will die if it comes in contact with anybody, any believer in Jesus' name. Father, we receive it right now in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Please share this video with your friends and your family to let them know what we're doing here at Center Church. And if you don't have a church to go to on Sunday morning, come on over and be with us. We're going to be worshiping and praying for many, many people. All right. I know you have a lot of questions. Go right ahead. Shoot me some questions and I'll make sure that I respond to you directly. Amen. I'm Pastor Clark Ortiz with Center Church here in Far Texas telling you God bless you and have a great day.